Mamook. 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 Ipsuit. Ipsuit. Mamook Ipsuit. Mamook Ipsuit. Mamook Ipsuit. My name is Desiree Palman. I'm a Dutch artist working in Vancouver, British Columbia, with the Grand Gallery to create a youth project called Mamuk Ipsut. The project involves seven Aboriginal youth and explores their relationship to Vancouver urban environment. The title Mamuk Ipsut is a Chinook phrase that means to hide or make hidden. Each youth is asked to choose a place in Vancouver City that is meaningful to them. The project itself involves all of us working together to camouflage paint the suits into their chosen landscapes. Often this project takes place in uh, areas where the children's connections to the land is extremely important. So it's, it's about their relationship to the, to the city and their place in this city, in the city of Vancouver. Well, first, after introducing my work, I, I showed them what I did and how I came to the work, which is um, camouflage painting suits in urban environment. In my case, it came from the monitoring of street surveillance cameras, but it could also be uh, like blending in to your favorite spot, which was really interesting because all the kids took, later came out, took their favorite spots in the city. Well, first we, we I, I provided for all the kids these white suits and we went like with a blank page, which is in this case a, a white suit. We went to the different locations and we made a picture of their favorite spots standing in the white suits. My name is Jerry Bird and my location is the Sky Train. Then we returned to the gallery where we had this working space next to the gallery and we started to make the, the drawings on the suit for blending in into the location. And it should be from the perspective of the camera. So we took the pictures and the kids worked with these pictures, drawing and painting on the suits. That took us kind of like one, two, three days. Because it's quite kind of difficult to blend in, of course. And also like you having the right color, having the right lines to, to kind of disappear on the spot. I'm Jin, and the location I picked was Scotiabank Theatre, downtown Vancouver, because I watch a lot of movies there. I'll call my project Camouflaging at the Cinema. It was like this half reflecting windows in the door in the entrance of, 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 of the cinema. And I thought, Jesus, this is hard. And, um, but it worked really well. The picture is really fantastic. He's completely kind of half disappeared. My name is Atisha, and the location I picked was the BC place. Because I like to like, look around there where the water is. Letizia's photo was really brilliant because of the colors, you know, like the, the white and the, and the blue and also this really nice view. I thought, whoa, this is going to be hard, but she really got, got kind of like feeling for the colors, like the blue and, and, and we were also a bit lucky because the weather was steady, like all the time sunny, so it's kind of... It really worked out well and it, it has this really kind of optimistic summer feeling in the, in the picture. Oh, that's going to be cool. With the blue? Yeah. 
This is really nice. I love it. We only had white, black, yellow, blue and red paint. So you have to be able, I learned that in school, to make all the colors you can imagine. So it's, uh, kids did learn that. And also kind of, where is this line going? It's on your shoulder, on the back. Is it lower than your arm? You know, like they kind of really had to look careful where all the perspective lines of the building, for instance, start or end. So it was a kind of hard job they had to do. I'm Daniel and the location I picked for was a pond. I named my painting the tree. Starting with Daniel, it was great because uh, I, uh, it was like he sitting in front of this tree, which his hair, the color of his hair is really exactly like the color of the tree, brown. And I really like his photo, like also, he's just like kind of in the same vertical strictness as the tree. So it fits really well, the two of them. <laughs> Well, I don't think they thought it would, was easy, but probably it's, it was more difficult than they thought. <laughs> I don't know. It's really hard and, and, and I know, I also experienced that it's really hard. I also made suits which didn't work at all. So you just have to see your failure. <laughs> I picked a nature, natural pond in the middle of a park in the middle of downtown Vancouver. Very natural and just not at all like everything around it. I go there a lot. I feel connected to there. It, it's very different than the rest of the area I'm used to, so it's a nice change. In Carson's case, it was really funny because it was really uh, quiet as she was also thinking about like he, her favorite place is quiet and then for the final picture with Henry it was crowded the whole pond was full of kids and there was this mom going into the pond it was really nice weather and all the kids were plunging in the pond <laughs> When we went back to the telephone booth on the drive, they put a door in it. Can you imagine? So, do I remember how you first send it? Sorry, I think you were supposed to Just right. When you have the door in it, it's a complete different picture. But then we decided to put the door slightly open and it's kind of like invitation to go with your gaze in this telephone booth, as you see the picture later. My name is Sage Markham, and the location I picked was Playland, because whenever you're there, you always have a good time, and it's and fun. So when we went for this controlling in-between picture, if it would make sense, there were, I, I don't know, I think there were thousands of people, no? <laughs> so, so we had... We had to do this hula hoop thing to get some more space to take the picture. <laughs> My favorite part of the whole project, um, I think, was sitting down with all the other kids, sharing a meal together with them at lunch times, and I think that was really great. My favorite part about the project was making new friends and 
putting time and effort into a cool project. Oh, there's this.